Hello everyone, it's Connie here from the Daily Life of Creativity and today I am sharing a project using the Acorn Lane collection by Simple Stories. Here you will see me putting together a 6x8 paper um, that is going to go into the pocket, the clear pocket that comes in one of the 6x8 snap albums. So currently I'm just showing you the reverse side of one of the pages that I'm currently working on. Just adding some stickers around, but still leaving spaces for my photos. I have not added my photos yet because I want to take photos for this year. So we are planning on going to a farm that is near my home. So I'm just building a little cluster with enamel dots, some floral stickers, and a little cute fox that you see running right there but still leaving enough space to add a photo or two or three. Maybe I add them like three by three photos lining across and one coming down. Maybe it can be one of the photos four by six and I can just put it straight down and still um, add more embellishments or mat them on cardstock. Okay, so this is the other side of the six by eight that I'm currently working on. Uh, if you look at the top corner to the left, I have already used one of the Robans October to on that on top of that white paper, okay? And I'm playing around to see where those three by four cards are going to be going. Um, here is some of the sequins, creating a little shaker packet. And those little sequ um, sequins came from Carolina Craft here on YouTube. She's also on Instagram. Sometimes she does little sequin mixes and sometimes I buy them to add them to my projects. So here I'm creating like a little topper, like a bag topper for the shaker packet. Um, just to give it like a little package look. Adding some double-sided tape. And I'm going to add that to the pocket, make sure that it's lining up <laughs> correctly. And then after I did that, I will use my sewing machine to add some stitching across. Just to make sure the sequins stay inside the pocket or they don't spill. I mean, if you have a few stool, you can close it with one of those, but I'm currently still living out of boxes. Everything is in the garage, so I have no idea where my fuel stool is right now at the moment. Um, here I'm adding some enamel dots around that give thanks every day. That That is a three by four card that I cut apart from the collection, Think that one of the element sheets. Here I'm going through this sticker book. I'm just grabbing a little um, like a little tab to put around that card and I think that is it for that card right there. This is one of the 3D layer card stack embellishments. I love those. I love the layers to them. So here I am using a pen to do some lines around the car stack just to frame it. And so it looks complete. Still leaving enough space for you to add your photos. And of course I'm going around the three by four card cause I like the way it looked, especially cause the pen matches the color of the hearts paper. Well, not the hearts, but the background color, like a burnt look which is cute so i think that's it for that three by four packet okay so next i am going to be adding some of the enamel dots to the six by eight paper i'm so happy to be here sharing another project and i would really love to know are you getting the ear corn collection by simple stories or are you playing around with something you have already bought from last year like any collection you know um, I know last year Simple Stories also had a beautiful fall collection and I saw a lot of people use it for documenting fall. So 
are you using that collection or a different collection are you making mini albums <laughs> layouts what is your favorite project to create okay i would really love to know So here I am cutting, matting a white paper for a photo and that's my favorite things to do with tags. They cut apart tags that come in the 12x12 12 12 collection kit, the simple stories. I like to add them to whatever card tag I'm matching the collection with and create little flips to add photos in them or journaling. Or whatever I'm feeling you know sometimes you just want to create a little cluster of embellishments because I love embellishments I love embellishing everything sometimes I think I go a little overboard but I think it looks cute it's what I like right you have to create the projects that you like the way you like and if you are not sure about it look at other people's um, photos for inspiration um, videos you will learn eventually how to layer and do things find your own way of creating things okay sometimes you just have to do what others do scrap lift which is completely fine at the end of the day it would look completely different by the time you're done at the back of that um, tag i added a journaling card i'm adding some enamel dots i love those enamel dots you see here i'm showing you that i opened it and i'm going to be adding a phrase from the stickers right there at the bottom closing that plus it makes it a very fun interactive page okay so here you will see me i'm done i'm complete <laughs> it's complete <laughs> and it looked like this and it's all ready for me to add my photos for fall and i don't have to worry about creating the project maybe just matting the photo on some papers distressing the edges and then if i want to add more embellishments then i can do so after once again thank you so much for stopping by it means a lot that you take your time to watch my process video this is all new to me so new to editing new to filming process videos i have been trying for a long time but it doesn't stick so hopefully this time around i can get it right bye